Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, and in fact our first mod in the pre-release version 1.1 of Kerbal Space Program, as it would appear that now the vast majority of the modding community has moved on to the 1.1 pre-release, and thus now so do I. And our first mod that we're going to be having a look at in this new release is the Space Tackles Kai Fighter mod, which is being made of course by forum user Space Tackle, and what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a series of parts to allow you to make your own Kerbalized TIE Fighters. And I kind of love that. Now, if you remember a long time ago, we had a look at a similar mod that was from another author that just added in the TIE Fighter cockpit. This one, though, adds in all the parts necessary to make a near endless array of different kinds of TIE Fighters. And frankly, I just love it. So let's just jump right on into the VAB and have a look at the currently nine parts in total that this does add in. Now the first one we're going to have a look here is the Kai Fighter cockpit, which is, you know, a pretty small cockpit overall. If we grab the Mark 1 command pod, you'll notice it's uh, fairly comparable in size, a little bit larger, well, perhaps a little bit more than a little, but overall eh, fairly close in size, and it is a Kai Fighter cockpit. It holds one crew member. It does have a built-in reaction wheel, the science experiment crew report, 200 electric charge, and 50 monopropellant. And yeah, it's a, it's a nice little capsule. Now, as you can see on the sides, we do have a number of different attachment points on the back, the bottom, and two on the sides, uh, which is good for uh, building your various different Kai Fighters that you may want to make. I'm a little intrigued why they did go for an attachment point on the bottom but not the top of the Kai Fighter capsule but eh, you know to each their own I guess now the next set of parts is going to be down here in engines where we have two different engines which are identical except this one has no engine plume and this one does that's it that's the only difference between these two different engines so it's just whatever you want the aesthetic of your fighter to be do you want it to have an engine plume or not but both of them have a max thrust of a hundred kilonewtons a very very impressive engine ISP at 999-999, and then sips down a xenon gas at 0 0.102 per second, but then chucks quite a bit of electrical charge at 10.197. It does have a bit of gimbling range, and both have impressive engine sounds, which do sound, you know, like a TIE Fighter, which is what you'd hope for. Now, uh, again, as I said, they are basically identical engines, the only difference between them being this one has no plume, this one does. And that's frankly it, but other than that, very good little engines. Now the next set of parts we have is in structural, where we'll find four different things, the first of which being an arm connector, and this is basically a four-way splitter here. It also does hold 50 liquid fuel, 40.9 oxidizer, and 50 xenon gas. Now by default, only the xenon gas will be in here, but if you do want a little bit of liquid fuel or oxidizer, you can throw that in as as well uh, but again the 50 xenon gas will be the defaulted in now the next part we have is a Kai bracket which uh, as you can see is an active radiator which is always useful it does require some electric charge for it but it'll help with your heat and it's a pretty lovely little bracket there let's put it on that part there and actually get a little zoom in so we can see these a bit more close up very nice indeed I do like the look of all of these parts very good modeling good texturing on them very nice. And of course, Kerbal. And then the next part we have is the fighter port cover. Now this is what I was saying about why I thought it was a little odd that it has an attachment point here on the bottom of the cockpit, but not on the top. Because if you don't want the bottom one, you can cover it up with uh, this. This particular little Kai Fighter cover. And there we go, it has a little Kai Fighter I guess just lettering there. But yeah, it's a way to cover it up if you don't want to add any additional other things onto the ship. And I'm just, uh, I'm confused why they don't also do it on the top. But hey, again, that's just my opinion. Uh, the next part we have is a long arm connector, which if we slap onto there is just a pretty basic little structural pylon, except this one also has the ability to hold fuel. It can hold 100 liquid fuel, 80.8 
or 81.8 rather oxidizer and 100 xenon gas. And like with the arm connector over here, uh, the xenon gas is the only one that's defaulted to on. The rest you can add if you want, but they're not defaulted. Uh, now the remaining two parts that we have, if we zoom out a little bit here, are in aerodynamics, and they are the Kai Fighter wings. We have the Kai Fighter wing, and also, as you did see on it, it's a it's a solar panel. It generates five electricity per second, and it also functions as a lift surface wing, which. I'm impressed by who knew the Empire was so concerned about, you know, environmentalism that they'd go with solar cells for their planes. But yes, you have yourself a lovely little Kai Fighter wing there. Very good. The sort of uh, typical one of the flat, typical surface. Very cool indeed. And then the other one, again, a similar solar panel wing in the interceptor variety so let's just sort of attach that on there a very nice look to it very nice feel overall just some nice quality little parts i do enjoy them and well that's the nine different parts for this kai fighter mod so let's load up uh, oh god no definitely don't save that horrible thing and let's load up a ship that i was building earlier which is basically just a tie fighter interceptor and this is you know the sort of bog standard thing that you could build with this but you could build Build all sorts of crazy different TIE fighter designs. For instance, you could lose that wing there and add on a second cockpit here and then attach the wing if you so desired. You can do just all sorts of things and it's just fun to have all that. In fact, what the heck, let's go and fly with this new design with the two cockpits. And you know, you could attach them to the bottom, etc., the different sides, and just add in all sorts of wacky, crazy, random things. Oh, I should probably add another engine here too. There we go, beautiful. Ooh, that's probably gonna drain a lot of power now that I think about it. You know what, you know what, let's just go for the basic one. Cause um, like I did say earlier, these things suck down a lot of electrical charge. And I was actually testing it with two engines earlier today and two engines drain the battery quick. So let's just go with the basic Kai Fighter. But if you wanted, you could make something a bit more wacky and complicated. But let's just go launch this to show you what it all looks like. And of course, the interior as this Kai Fighter cockpit does have a lovely little IVA if we go into that view which as you can see is roster prop monitor compatible which um, being in version 1.1 pre-release of the game was kind of a pain to get working but eventually I got it so yes here we are it's a simple cockpit the only normal panel being this stuff here and if you didn't have roster prop monitor installed you wouldn't have the HUD or these two displays and you just have little blank panels here and here. Other than that, it's actually a pretty bare cockpit, nothing really else around. I mean, we're just seeing uh, blank black and gray textures here. Uh, but overall, you know, just a nice simple cockpit, which is quite easy to fly from, though let's actually go to the exterior, because I do prefer to fly from there. And let's turn on the engine and listen to this baby purr. There we go. Now, as you can see, we do have the engine with the plume. So we do have a nice little ion engine stream going out the back. If you had the other engine on board, you would not get this particle effect here. That's, again, the only real difference between these mods, or the engines, rather. And yes, you can hear the light hum of the engine right now. If we throttle all the way up, we can go um, pretty darn fast. And, well, the engine, of course, gets a little bit louder, and I do enjoy it. So here we go. And there's that lovely TIE Fighter screech. Now, it's not quite what you'd think or hope from the movies, but you know what? It's, uh, it's close enough, I'd say, for a Kai Fighter mod here in the game. And as you can see, though, we are getting pretty darn quick. And resource-wise, we're, uh, we're fine. We've barely used any xenon gas, and we've only gone through a small amount of power. This is kind of an overpowered craft, but frankly... If you're downloading a TIE Fighter for Kerbal Space Program, eh, it's going to be overpowered. As for maneuverability, it's um, pretty pretty maneuverable. In fact, perhaps too maneuverable for me, uh, considering my history of a pi as a pilot, I tend to crash a lot, and this thing's a little bit finicky even with the uh, fine-tuned controls on down here. Especially in the up-and-down motion, this thing will flip around pretty quick, but with how powerful the engine is, 
you really don't have to matter about it too much because you just power through it and you're back to flying perfectly fine. But let's actually throttle down. And yeah, I mean, this is this is a pretty fun little mod. It's uh, only a handful of parts, again, nine in total, but a pretty impressive little build. I do like the look of all the parts. They are very well made, very well textured. Uh, they've got a the good TIE Fighter look to them. It's very stock-like, which I always enjoy, and I like some of the little strange things, like with the TIE Fighter wings actually being solar panels. I, I do enjoy that. It, it makes me think of the Empire in an entirely different way. But yes, this has been the Space Tackles Kai Fighter mod. If you would like to give it a try for yourself, you can take a look at the link in the description. And I definitely would say to go give it a try, build yourself some TIE Fighters and some really wacky ones with multiple cockpits. It'll be a good fun time. But yes, that is going to be it for this episode today. I hope you all have enjoyed, and of course, that you do come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching, and as always... Have a good one. Now I'm going to go fly around with this thing for a bit and probably crash knowing my piloting skills, but you know what? I still had fun doing it. Later, folks.